Uh, good morning, everyone. Thank you for coming today. I'm Kazuhide Fujimi.、Uh, I'm from Japan. You can call me Kaz, K A Z U Kaz. So I work for Yahoo Japan as server infrastructure architect from last eight years. So Yahoo Japan adapted OCP server since 2016. So today I'd like to talk about Our infrastructure and OCP. <coughs> so, this is a today's presentation title. So, these are today's agendas. I'd like to talk about three topics. First is our company's overview, and second is about our infrastructure overview. And Last one is the adoption of OCP Yahoo Japan infrastructure. So let's begin with the introduction of Yahoo Japan overview. So, Yahoo Japan was founded in January 1996, which means we have more than 20 years company's history. In Japan Internet Company. <coughs> And also, we provide a lot of services on the internet, such as internet advertising, e commerce, and other services. And we have more than 6,000 employees, half of them are engineers, and that's our company scale. And our, et- our head office is located in Tokyo, in Japan. And as you can see, this is our portal site. Yahoo Japan is a famous portal site in Japan market. So, our portal site design for desktop and smartphone is like this. And also, we have more than 100 services on desktop and smartphone environment. And we are number one application publisher for smartphone a p p l i c a t i o n in Japan market. <coughs> and Yahoo Japan is most, one of the most famous ISP in Japan market. And in our survey, Yahoo Japan services are visited by 80% Japanese internet users. So that's all about company overview. So let's move on to the next topics about server infrastructure overview. So this topic f o c u s on server side. So, as you can see,、uh, these are our server infrastructure overview. In,、uh, sorry, this is、uh, our organization. So, we have several data centers in Japan and US. So, that's being managed by 150 plus infrastructure engineers. And I belong to Infratech second department, which has more than 30 plus engineers. So, who, uh, who m a n a g e all of servers, storages, and data center operations? <coughs> so, our infrastructure division is called Site Operation Division. And other departments manage. Cloud, network, and platform segment. And this slide, we can see the server infrastructure overview in figures. So we have three server teams, 10 plus server engineers, and 60 plus server operation staffs. 
in our data center. They are outsourcing staffs. And also, we are managing almost 100,000 physical servers. And this is a mix of six server vendors, 80 plus server models, and 200,000 plus server components. As you can see, this is our server infrastructure scale. So next slide, as you can see, server our server infrastructure works. So for example, we consider server configuration or we operate server troubleshooting and other works. So now let's move on to the next topic. I'd like to talk about the adoption of OCP in Yahoo Japan data center. So first of all, why Yahoo Japan adopted OCP instead of traditional server? So as you can see, this is the comparison between traditional server and OCP server. So compared to traditional server, OCP is very flexible to customize and easy to maintain. And OCP standard design makes it very easy to operate for Yahoo Japan infrastructure. And additionally, OCP's OPEX is better than traditional server. So, <coughs> which I'll explain in detail from actual data in the next slide. This graph, we can see the power consumption of OCP is 8% better than traditional server. Blue is OCP, green is traditional server. <coughs> so one of the, this reason, so it's because OCP's motherboard contains only minimum number of component. For example, number of sensors, condensers, and other part is less than traditional server. So this is not oh, this is not POC data or testing data. This is production data. And also we can see the temperature data of OCP. It's thirty percent better than traditional server. So. Red one is OCP and yellow one is traditional server. So it's because OCP 2 OU 3 node design is very good for airflow compared to traditional server. So based on these facts, about power consumption and OC and temperature data. So Yahoo Japan successfully reduced TCO by using OCP server. <coughs> so <coughs> we think the main benefit of OCP that TCO is much better than traditional server. And next topic, so this is the timeline of the introduction of OCP in Yahoo Japan data center. So as you can see, in 2016, the first adoption of OCP of Leopard version 1 was for our OpenStack environment. 
So after that, we adapted Leopard version 2 for OpenStack environment 2. And now we are testing Tioga Pass, Bryce Canyon, and Lightning. So next, uh, I'd like to talk about OCP model, which we have been adapted. So I'd like to explain more in the next slide. So as you can see, these are OCP models, which we have been adapted in our Japan data center. So <coughs> we are using OCP we are using OCP accepted model from WinWin. So through our experience of adoption, so WinWin is good product and good relationship for Yahoo Japan infrastructure. And the next chart is the ratio of OCP adoption in our cloud platform. So I mean, our cloud platform is based on OpenStack. And 26% of it is built on OCP form factor. And next chart is the ratio of, sorry, this chart is breakdown of form factor by, sorry, this is breakdown of hypervisor. <coughs> so this chart, 20, sorry, 72% is represented by KBM as OpenStack hypervisor and 28% is represented by VMware as hypervisor. And next, this is uh, our configuration. So VMware on OCP configuration. So we use VMware vSphere and at our parts environment on WinWinds, on WinWinds rail part. And regarding storage side, we are not using vSAN functionality. So instead of we use storage appliance like EMC, NetApp, and other storage solutions. So this is a apart overview from facility layer to application layer on our cloud platform. <coughs> so other than OpenStack on OCP, so we are using VMware for our PCF environment on VMware. So PCF means Pivotal Cloud Foundries. And, but now we are not using vSAN functionality. So let me explain that reason in the next slide. So this slide shows the detail of the reason why Yahoo Japan is not using vSAN functionality. So in general, vSAN's pros are simple architecture, flexible configuration, and high cost performance. But on the other hand, its cons are strict hardware compatibility, like vendors, vendors farmers, and other components. So on the right side, 
from YJ's point of view. So, as you can see, we have several background like various candidates, so firmware management, and other reasons. So, <coughs> due to these reasons, we are not using Vsan functionality. And it's, it's difficult to buy physical server for Vsan requirements. And next slide about the main benefit of VMware and OCP benefit. So VMware's features such as high, availab high availability and managing security incident are better than KBM. And for OCP side, per rack density and as I mentioned earlier, OPEX and CAPEX uh, better than traditional server. So this slide, so these are we can uh, these are main activities that Yahoo Japan performed to promote OCP in Japan. So we we are the early adapter of OCP in Japan and as a motivational OCP users. So we perform these activities. So for example, OCP trust in our data center to another company and post to the media about OCP. And to do the many presentation in various event and uh, seminar in Japan. So Yahoo Japan hope by performing these activities, so OCP becomes more popular and common in Japan market. So far, uh, I have explained my presentation. So now I'd like to summarize my presentation. So Yahoo, uh, today I mentioned three topics, as you can see, three topics. So first, it's about our company overview. So Yahoo Japan has more than 20 years company histories and Yahoo Japan services are visited by 80% Japanese users. And that's our company scale. And the second one is about our server infrastructure overview. We have the infrastructure division, which is called site operation division. And this division has 150 plus infrastructure, which includes cloud, hardware, network, and platform department. And uh, <coughs> regarding to server side, we have 10 plus server engineer. And also, we are managing almost 100,000 physical server in our data center. This is uh, our server infrastructure scale. So last one is the adapt is the about OCP. So Yahoo Japan has adapted OCP since 2016. And that main usage is cloud environment. Our cloud environment is based on OpenStack. And Yahoo Japan think the main benefit of OCP is OPEX reduction, which means OCP is OPEX much better than traditional server. And also 
Yahoo Japan performed many activities for OCP, which includes OCP tours, post to the media, and do the many presentations in several seminars or events. So, and finally, so I believe OCP is the one of the best solution for infrastructure. So, Yahoo Japan is actively investing OCP hardware and also planning to expand further, further not only in Japan data center, but also US data center. So that's all for my presentation. Uh, if you have any question or any comment, please contact me at this email or LinkedIn or directory. So thank you. Thank you, Kazide. That was fantastic. 25% or 26% is already OCP gear. That's amazing. So that's excellent. Do we have any questions in the audience? All right. Uh, you mentioned that there was over 200,000 subcomponents in your servers. Is, uh, is these subcomponents, is this being qualified to OCP servers, or is that something you do yourself? Uh, I'm thinking about PCI cards. If you're just moving a card from, from a standard server over to this? Which includes, uh, which includes PCI card, SSD, hard disk, and network card, DRAM. So for traditional and OCP, both includes. <coughs> Wait a second question. Hi. Uh, yes, Yahoo Japan did a phenomenal job in the OCP world. Uh, I have a two questions. Uh, my name is Charles Kim uh, from the Sage Tech System. So the, we are the solution provider. So one question is uh, about the supply chain. So you guys uh, directly purchase the Wuvin uh, servers or the, any the, the solution partners between the, and the, that's the first question. And the second question is about, um, you guys mentioned about the server only. So what about the OCP, the networking devices? Are you using the, any of the net OCP, the networking devices? So first question answered is, uh, Yahoo Japan purchase OCP through solution provider. That solution provider is CTC. CTC's uh, person, uh, Sachin. Uh, yes, oh, okay, he, I see. he's CTC. And uh, Yahoo Japan's solution provider uh -huh. through OCP. Uh -huh. And uh, Sorry, second question. Is second question is about uh, the OCP networking devices. Are you guys using any OCP networking devices like the Ethernet switches, data center Ethernet switches, like the Edge Core or the Delta, any other the OCP members' product for your networking environment? Uh, OK, so <coughs> um, Yahoo Japan infrastructure separate strategy, so I mean storage side have motivation to adapt OCP server, but uh, network side uh, have little motivation to adapt network uh, equipment of OCP. Uh, but network side, so yes, Yahoo Japan has adapted backpack for testing in Japan data center, uh, but uh, I think I think network side <laughs> activities. That's it. That's all. Okay, still yeah. need some time. Okay, got that. Yep. Thank you. Do we have any other questions? All right. Well, I will ask one. Maybe. How has your experience been in production now that you have so many OCP servers um, from a serviceability perspective, reliability? I think you touched on some of those. How has your overall experience been? Uh, <coughs> my, in my experience, so yeah, as you know, so 
OCP server, OCP, we can maintain OCP server in front of OCP. So, uh, I mean, so traditional server, we have to operate in front of and rear side. So, in general, rear side is very strict condition to operate uh, for 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 operation stuff uh, like uh, hot temperature and uh, and Uh, I'm uh, from CDC, Sachin Thakur. Um, we are one of the solution provider for Yahoo Japan. So let me translate on behalf of uh, Fujimisa uh, regarding this question. So Yahoo Japan's data center is basically a strictly, um, they divided cold aisle and hot aisle space. So their traditional servers, you had to manage uh, from behind. I mean, for some serviceability like network and some disk, they had to go in hot aisle and the space was very, short in size you know so working in that hot condition for operation guys was quite you know uh, hard uh, operation to do so by using OCP he mean to say that everything is front access so on the service uh, serviceability part it, it has become the operation cost has been uh, reduced uh, drastically uh, mainly for serviceability part and, and the other one was uh, the so serviceability and the reliability. Reliability. Uh, and additionally, uh, for uh, about reliability, so <coughs> we measure the the annual failure rate of traditional server and OCP server. So traditional server, which includes uh, Huawei, Dell. Huawei Dell, Supermicro, and HP Fujitsu, NEC. So compared to these servers, OCP is same failure rate uh, per year. Hmm. So we think that's uh, good reli reliability. Excellent, yes. thank you. And to add into this, uh, they have actually disclosed one uh, I think it was in presentation. Uh, yeah, so no, they made a video uh, inside their data center uh, while operating the server. So they compare to traditional server. So number of minutes uh, required to replace parts like memory, uh, hard disk, and other components uh in case of ocp compared to the standard servers so in case of ocp almost more than 80 percent of the parts they were successfully able to replace within three minutes so that was also uh, very good uh, even in case of failure rate it's comparable to IA servers standard IA servers and the replacement maintenance is very good on ocp also Excellent. Any last questions? We have one more. Okay, within the slide, you guys mentioned about uh, TCO re reduction, um, just to focusing on the, the OPEX perspective, but uh, what, uh, almost the same, the CAPEX you mentioned that. So is it true compared to the existing the devices and then uh, I'm just wondering the CapEx perspective, is there any the reduction or something? So uh, as you uh, saw in the slides, uh, Yahoo Japan started procuring OCP from 2016 onwards, right? So in the beginning, 
the capex was in case of OC OCP in 2016 was higher compared to a traditional server. That was uh, in the year 2016. But from there on, they got to know uh, about the procurement style of OCP. So while procuring OCP, they could directly uh, talk to the vendors like memory uh, manufacturers, disk manufacturers, and other part manufacturers. So they kind of got to know about the per parts level uh, pricing. Uh, so based on that, they changed their procurement style. And by following that style from 2000 onward, they were uh, able to dress, not drastically, but uh, came to the same level of traditional servers. And this year, uh, they were able to finally re reduce the capex of uh, OCP compared to the traditional servers. So this was the know-how that they gained from the community. And uh, since they are using uh, procuring OCP actively, they got the relationship and network uh, that Facebook has built uh, within this community. Yes. And additionally, so for traditional server, Yahoo Japan don't know each component price, but yes, but OCP side we can know each price, so we can approach so each price for component in OCP, but we cannot approach uh, to negotiate each price so uh, for stand, uh, traditional server. So. It's good for Yahoo Japan, so OCP approach. Thank you. All right, thank you. I think we have a few minute break, and then we will have the next presentation at 10 o'clock from Nokia.